Hello guys, how are you today? How are you doing? Welcome back to SimUK. Welcome back to the House Flipper. I think today we are going to 14 grand in the bank still. I think we're going to attack one of the bedrooms or maybe make some alterations upstairs. I've been thinking about this a little bit and I've worked out a way that I can turn... Well, I've worked out a way that I can definitely get an ensuite into all three bedrooms. But there are some areas that need some thinking and some solutions to be found for. Oh, nice car, dude. <laughs> so outside is definitely something that we're going to have to be addressing at some point. This whole space needs looking at. The garden is a, an episode all on its own, without a shadow of a doubt. But uh, we don't need to worry about that just yet. We're going to go have a look upstairs. Now we haven't done anything upstairs really, other than uh, put that painting in. And uh, a light switch for the lights. Other than that, we've done nothing at all. So what I was thinking was, this room here has a double huge huge double uh room what i could do is knock a hole through one of them and then this room would have an ensuite as well now i'm quite tempted to do that and i think it will definitely improve things this i'm still not happy with and i may not be able to fix that i may not be able to find a solution to that i don't know but It would have to be here, wouldn't it? This would have to be for this room. So can I turn this into both? Oh, it's going to be... It's going to be tricky. I'm not sure that particular wall does anything. Is there any reason for that being there at all? No. So my thinking is, I could go and have like, uh, shower and a sort of a toilet area separately. I mean, let's be honest, the, the game itself isn't even smart enough for the people who are thinking about buying this property to know the difference between an ensuite and a non ensuite they just have absolutely no idea whatsoever so it's all eye candy at the end of the day so as long as i'm happy with it aesthetically then technically it works i wish it was different i wish there was some sort of pushback from the clients so there's not there's nothing at all so i mean it's very possible, I think, to achieve a little um, area here for clothing with a shower and a toilet at the end. Yeah, I think I think that could be done. That could be achieved. Oh, but the problem is I want it to be this one, which is quite a bit smaller. I could move the wall over. Let's start by doing that. How much extra space am I going to... Uh. Start by knocking the wall some idea of what we're looking at.
It's going to be a very skinny door, isn't it? If I put it there like that. But yeah, I mean, that could work in its, in its own right. That could be a thing. You're kidding. You're, oh, you're not going to let me build a wall because that's there. So. And actually, it might make this room work better as well. So we'll knock this wall through. Could there be... Could there be a sensible solution where we share this space? You never see that, do you? An ensuite shared. I mean, there are obviously some potential issues there. That's that done. Clear up, clear up the mess we made. So that one section of wall there, why is that there? Because that's part of that. I could fill it in, I could use it. I'm not entirely sure what's best to do. Okay. Okay. Enough space up here for an office, I'd say. A little office space. And that works. So this is the one I've got to make as small as possible. So let's have a look, see here at... Uh, Oh, I see. Now that's that is going to be a problem, isn't it? Sink and shower. Sixty-three dollars. And it can go as far into that wall as, as you like. That's interesting. The problem is, there's no shower. <laughs> Although it does technically kind of actually work. And then there's enough space there... think to put yeah I think I'm gonna make the bedroom a little bit shorter just 
Just a fraction. Technically, the other thing I was thinking was that these bedrooms are actually huge. And it's nice to have a huge bedroom, but do they need to be quite so huge? Another option was, potentially, to... Uh, make the bedroom smaller and add an extra bedroom. Three bedrooms is not that many in a house this size, especially. That works, I think, quite well. Oh, what's going on here? Ah. Uh... That's looking very nice. Um, I do now need to put a shower in. So. Where's the shower fitting? Ah, interesting. So that needs to go in there. I don't understand how this works. Does the do I need to buy the shower separately? May not work as well as I hoped now. Quite sure how to connect this up. Shower plumbing system, that's what I was looking for. So what you're telling me is there's not enough space there to put it in. Let me move this. In the hope of making this work somehow. Don't tell me that's going to stick out further than the, the gap I've 
left for it. does it sticks out and you can't get in there and open the door either oh hang on right so there's a chance I guess that I could mount it in the other corner that would fit Just see if there's a better shower option. Um, quite a decent looking shower. I quite like that shower. Maybe these square ones will fit in the gap better. No, see, that's sticking out as well. That's a bit annoying. I mean, that looks pretty decent. And I can always squeeze a toilet in next to it. And there'll still be space for a little bit of... Uh... Clothes or something. got no radiators in this house oh my gosh I just suddenly realized Metal toilet. Jobs are good in. Um, right, so we need some sink plumbing. I don't want it too close to the toilet, but I also want to leave enough space to get some uh, clothing stuff in there. So let's have a look at sinks. What do we like the look of? That's quite nice. Such a ridiculous price. I wish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. no, 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 no. The opie in this house. Seems a bit low, but uh, I 
Bit of a mess. It's always a mess when I do this. I always... Is it still spilling out? It's still spilling out. Try again. I did feel like I didn't undo, I didn't tighten up rather, one of those two sides, but it didn't really give me the option to do it. Actually, I think I need to give a bit more space to the toilet. See, the problem is you have to press and keep your finger on it. You see how it's almost turned that tap on? doesn't quite work properly. There's a few mistakes here, I think. See, look, it's still pumping out water. Why? Something going very... Right, this is your last chance, sink. Installed and tightened, both of them this time. Look, why is there water coming out there? <clears throat> I don't get it. It could just be a bug. I, I don't understand what's going on there. I'm not sure what's not working. Something's clearly... All right, so I like that sink, but it's it's not working for us. So we'll find something else. Quite like the idea of having a full unit. Ah, uh, yeah, bathroom fixtures. That's what we're looking for. Sinks. That definitely helps me. That's the one I just tried. That's such a nice design. I'll have to go for this one because American Elm. American Elm. It's a little bit smaller as well. I guess that kind of works because we're a little bit short space. Looks a bit more advanced this one as well with the fittings to the wall and stuff. Look at that, look. It's almost impossible not to accidentally do that. Because of the way it, the camera moves without your say so, it just off it goes. <laughs> what? I've installed hundreds of these things. Why is this one broken? It's doing my head in. So look, all their positivities went up there. Why? Because I took the sink out. You don't want to sink in the... Do they still think it's the bedroom or something? Right, I'm going to try and do this carefully so as not to turn the tap on. Oh, 
that's done up. So any water that comes out the top of the sink will now be going into there. Why is there water coming out of that? Oh, I despair. What is going on? It's just busted. Apparently there's a bit of dirt here, so let's just try and wherever it is. bit over here as well. Oh yeah, I can see it. Oh, it was on the wall. Okay, I got you. <sighs> Get some lights in here and then maybe I can uh, see what I'm doing. my imagination or is there an extra color available now that's quite a cool light let's get um let's go get the floor done let's go floor panel oh I like that. That yeah, that's nice. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Plumbing. Sink plumbing. Has been an absolute nightmare this. I don't understand. Why I'm having so many problems with the sink. Nope. Can I really not have the sink I want? It's an oak and everything. Bugger off! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! I finally got it! It was this side. I had to go this side. Oh, man. That was exhausting. Right. Okay. Furniture. Bedroom. Wardrobes. A 
That's quite nice. Oh, just a fraction too big. Okay. They're all 200 centimeters, so that's no good. Wow, some of these uh, wardrobes are very expensive. Now, it looks to me like there's a gap there. Perhaps there isn't a gap there, it just looks like there is. Well, it looks to be pretty much up against it. So is there like a, a single one of those? A bellum dark. Let's have a look. Bellum. Yeah. That works for me. I quite like that. All right, we can sell this thing. That is, that in my opinion is a very nice ensuite bathroom. Very, very nice indeed. I've got to decide what sort of. Um... Oh, hang on, that's not right. Why is the light out here? Oh, because I haven't put a door in. Maybe. Could be that. Oh, where's my where's my door switch? Oh, is that why? It was slightly off. It didn't look like it was when I looked, but I yeah, see my instincts were right. Okay. That's pretty good. So we need a narrow door for this. Or I could take that bit of wall out, move the light switch over here, and then we can have a normal door. I think I prefer the normal door solution. Ah. I knew I was going to do that! I absolutely knew I was going to do that. I am so annoyed. <laughs> oh my god. All that work, all that time and effort, and then screwed it up with one jump and click of the button. <sighs> okay, let's put, I tell you what, let's put the shower in again. Let's try this one. I might actually like this one better, especially if it's got like some sort of animated properties. No, it doesn't. But actually, yes, I do prefer that shower. I think it's nicer, better design. So uh, we need like a towel holder. Oh, I can go in the kitchen. Uh, yeah, I'm liking that one. Bath mat. That's good. Not quite the same green, is it? But uh, it'll have to do. That's been a bit fiddly. Yep, that proper works. Mirror. Oh, wow. I don't like this kind of stuff, but does that work in here? Oh, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. That looks pretty smart. That looks like it was meant to be. 
Yeah, I like. I like, I like, I like. Are we going to paint it white? I think we might be painting it white. So let's go walls. Uh, paint white. Oh, so they're all already white, that side. Stand on the sink and paint. It's perfectly normal. Painter decorators do all the time. Oh, got it. Nice. I think that looks pretty good. I wouldn't mind putting a rug down there, though. Oh, yeah. Let's go for one of these silly... Oh, don't tell me it won't fit. I think green for a second, I swear. Does that just look a bit silly? If there's a better rug. I just want that rug, but a little bit smaller. Didn't have that option. A round rug works, especially in green. Oh, sorry about that, guys. My lunch has arrived, so I just had to uh, take a moment. Right. The last thing I need to do, really, is think. About doors, but I just want to, I just wonder whether I should put something on the wall. Just kind of finishes that off. It's a bit annoying that the greens don't match. It's a shame. A lot of people have asked whether or not we could pick our own colours. And to be honest with you, it can't be that difficult to implement based on what they've done so far. But they still choose not to. It's a shame because you could have everything matching the toilet seat with the floor mat and stuff and stuff. And it would just look incredible to have it all completely color coded like that. So let's think about doors. What doors are we going to have upstairs? I mean, we could just go for the same doors, I suppose. Um... There we go, doors. The Capulus doors, they're quite nice. They're narrow. And then you've got the other Capulus doors. Let's go for the nah, you wah, 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 wah. American Elm, are we going? Uh, 
Handles in gold. Details in white. And the frame in white. Just to distinguish it from downstairs. Yeah, that looks all right. right I finish building the rest of the... Uh, the wall around the door. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised with that. That's turned out really quite well. If we just have a look in the other room to see how much space they've lost. I don't think that's too bad at all. We could even move the door if we wanted. We could have a bath in here. You could have a shower and a bath. Yeah, the options are definitely there. I think we'll wrap that up for that for this particular episode, I'm just going to stick these doors throughout the house so that I can attempt at least to keep them all the same. Certainly not the final product, but uh, we're getting there. American Elm, American Elm, American Elm, American Elm, gold, white frame. There's no details on this one. Okay, that makes sense. There we go. I think that's looking rather spectacular already, despite being nowhere near finished. That's quite a long episode. That's like 45 minutes just to do a non suite bathroom. But if you want to do it right, you've got to put a bit of time into it. And uh, for me, at least, it takes 45 minutes or so, it seems. All right, so probably next episode we're either going to do the other ensuite bathroom or one of the bedrooms. I don't know. We've got eleven thousand in the kitty, which is quite good. Obviously, a bit of work needs to be done in here, but uh, yeah, I don't think that's a terrible sized bedroom. I think that's very reasonable. Fantastic views. Should look very nice, I think, in the end. I could possibly move the door over and put the bed there. I don't know. No point speculating it about now. Speculating about it now, I should say. But uh, yeah, let's get ourselves a little... little shot of that. Send it up to Steam as a spoiler. Only look at it if you want to know what it's going to look like in the end. And uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased, quite happy overall. I think we've done a good job. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.